Hi, this is Lauren at Body Rehab Studios and I just wanted to give you a quick chat through some things you need to be careful of when choosing your running shoes, whether it's for the 10k or the marathon, it's really important that you've got the right footwear. As a physio, we see lots of injuries that could have maybe been prevented had people had the right shoes on, especially things like shin splints um, and Achilles issues. If you've had these when you've been training before, it's a good indicator that maybe you need to check your shoes. So overall, there's a wide range of what people think mileage that shoes have, so between 250 to about 400 miles in each pair of shoes. Shoes do age, so if you haven't used them for a while, the compressive material in them does age a little bit, so they're not so good, even if you haven't done many miles in them. Generally, people have three types of foot, a nice neutral foot with a normal arch, a pronated foot where the arch is dropped and then less commonly a supronated, so high arch, more rigid foot. What you need to do is identify on yourself or go to a running shop and get them to have a little look at your foot and match that to the types of shoe. You can get a shoe that's very um, minimalist and doesn't offer much support or if you've got something like a more pronated foot you're going to need to get a shoe um, that's got a little bit more arch support. What I would say is, unless you're really confident of your technique, when you're training for a 10k or a marathon, it's not the time to try and go into a minimalist shoe or think I'm going to become a four foot runner instead of a heel strike runner. Those processes take a long time and you can't just put a minimalist shoe on and become a minimalist runner. You would need to go through a process of changing your technique. And we see injuries from that as well because people think that they want to go more minimalist but don't have the technique through the pelvis, through the glutes in order to tolerate that so the foot's just taking way too much impact. I wanted to show you on some shoes here today what you might want to look for to see if your shoe's dead. Basically these days the sole of the shoe will never really wear away so that's not a good indicator as to whether the shoe is kind of done or not. You can have a feel of how flexible it is through here. So this shoe, I can't fold it that easily. It takes a little bit of resistance. With a shoe that's really dead, you'll find you can fold it in half really easily without needing much resistance at all. So that's an indicator. But what I look at as a physio is this area of the shoe here. So this is shoe's got a little bit of medial arch support. But what I do is I look in this white area here. So I'm gonna come slowly forwards and see if you can see. So in this area here, you can see all the buckle creases on the side of the shoe, and that's where the shoe has really started to um, give way here. So if you'd only had your shoes for a matter of weeks and they were doing this, you're gonna need a more supportive shoe. So this shoe wasn't really appropriate for the person who was wearing it. They didn't have it very long, but you started to see all that collapse through here. If I show you on this shoe, this is the shoe that I ran my marathon in last year good shoe um, but it really worked for me if I show you again and you come and have a look through here there's not that much of an indication through here of anything that I've done it's still intact there's not too much buckling through there so this for me is quite a good shoe so the sole looks fine but all through this area here it looks absolutely fine so what I would do is I would get your shoes out have a little look along here maybe check the sole but you're unlikely to see any wear and tear and have a look either online or on a running shoe store to get some advice as to what shoe is going to work for your foot. Overall, as I say, don't get pulled towards trends of just going minimalist or this or that. It's what works for you. Your shoes should be comfortable. There should be a little bit of room for your toes to expand on the longer runs. Um, and most of all, as I say, you should be able to run pain free without getting those niggles. So if you have any worries at all, visit your local shoe shop or come in and have an MOT with us. We can look at your feet, look at your shoes and give you some advice about the right shoe for you. Happy running!